Okay, um, so this one, uh, we're going to do the shortcut of um, taking the Rydberg energy equation and just figuring out what the energy of the transition is. Instead of taking it using the Rydberg wavelength equation, then putting that into the various other equations, then um, getting your uh, energy out through that, okay? So we're gonna show a shortcut of how to do this. Um, so it's very similar to the Rydberg equation. Okay, so it's energy instead of one over wavelength equals Re, and that's the Rydberg energy constant, which I've written down for you up here, times one and two squared minus So, hopefully you realize what's going on here. It said that the transition was from n equals 5 to n equals 2, right? So, um, in, or 3. In this case, n equals 5 is 1, and n equals 2 is, or n equals 3 is 2, okay? So, um, let's just go ahead and plug those in. Let's plug everything in. So. Um, notice the negative sign here, okay? So what is that saying is that this transition, well, well, we'll see in a second. Okay, so. And again, these are um, exact numbers, so there's no real significant digits here, so in this problem you could put for a final answer whatever significant digits you felt like. So okay and since I don't have much room on this board I'm just going to erase these and put nine in. Okay, so this is what I was referring to earlier when I kind of stopped. This number is bigger than this number. Is everybody clear on that, right? So since that's the case, we're going to get a positive number here. Does that make sense? Since we're subtracting, we're having a bigger number and subtracting a smaller number from it. Does that make sense? So the overall answer is going to be negative. Does that make sense? Because this is a negative times a positive. And this is what I was saying, since we have this transition going from a higher energy to a lower energy, we would expect to, you know, lose energy. We'll say lose energy, okay? Something like that. Okay, so um, let's just do this. So again, this is the energy of one photon, so you would expect this to be a tiny number, okay? Not to mention that you've already got a small number there, so. Um, I got negative 1.55 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So that's how much energy it takes to make this transition from energy level 5 to energy level 3. Does that make sense? We'll do, let's, let's do another one. Let's do uh, kind of a follow-up question where we go from, and I know probably you guys will figure out how to, what, what the difference will be without us doing it, but let's do one going from energy level 3 to energy level 5, okay? I think so, that out of general curiosity, uh -huh. what happens to the energy so what happens? It 
it was released as like a photon of light or um, some other type of radiation, like um, thermal radiation or something like that. So you have to, it's like that conservation of energy, law of conservation of energy. You have to, there has to be a constant amount of energy, you know, in the system and surrounding. So yeah, you're releasing it as, and that's what I kind of wanted to say here. I was going to say HV, but I, I don't know if it's actually visible light or something like that. So, or we could say it's thermal energy too. So energy in general, better kind of connotation, if that makes sense. That's a good question. Is that good? Can we kill this one?